What's up everybody, this is B522 from Some Guys on Xbox Live and I wanted to make a quick tutorial video showing you guys how to keep your Battlefield 4 server full. Uh, as most of you know who have either rented a server before or have thought about renting a server and want to know how to keep it full, the only way to get traffic from Quick Match is to actually run you know, a basic official server with a normal map rotation from either the base maps or one of the expansion packs which really defeats the purpose of owning your own server in the first place. So our server here, we like to run you know, a mix of maps from all the different map packs. And for the Naval Strike maps, we like to run Carrier Assault, um, sort of break up you know, the monotony of just Conquest Large, Conquest Large, Conquest Large, but keep it at 64 players, um, you know, similar game types so people aren't thrown off guard. Um, but as you can see right now, zero out of 64 players, no one who's searching for you know hardcore mixed map server is going to join a zero out of 64 player one if there's others that actually have players in it um you know they're not going to wait around for you to start up so what i want to show you guys is what we do to keep our server full um so what you'll want to do is go over to server setup change your preset to normal your map rotation to either Conquest Classics, or we have a custom one we call Startup, which is just the, the base maps that we actually like playing on. Um, but either one of those will work. You can make a custom one if you want, but just make sure it's from the base maps, only using the base maps. And server type you want set to official. And we used to have in our server title, you know, hardcore, mixed maps, um, all that, but we changed that because we felt like people who were joining in quick match, even if you know we were running the official serve the official settings, they may still think that they're getting in a mixed map server and may back out, you know, right when they get in because they think that they're gonna need the expansion packs. Um, so we, we stopped putting that in our description. So we're gonna apply those server settings, and as you can see it's operation locker, conquest, official. Um, there's a small map rotation, but see now our server will take quick match traffic and So what we do is we'll normally have four or five of us. We'll hop in um, And get our server, you know, just mess around, you know, just shoot each other fly jets, you know, do whatever and usually within You know 15 20 minutes. It'll start quick matching people um, Sometimes it's just one or two people at a time and it may take a little bit longer But usually it'll throw in you know groups of three and four at a time and Eventually the teams will end up stacking up to you know full 64 player server within the first game um, It really does not take much longer than that So what you want to do when it gets full is just one of you needs to back out one of you or the admins and then change it to the mix map um, you know, map rotation you want. But what you want to make sure is that the first map in that map rotation is a base map. So that way, when it switches over to your new map rotation the next round, anyone who doesn't have all the expansion packs doesn't get kicked. Um, that's that's real important, because otherwise it's going to boot, you know, half of your players out, and then your server's probably going to die. So we have a few different uh, mixed map rotations, just so we don't have to play the same ones over and over. It's the same map, so we just have a different order. Um, but it's, it's important that, that you really, you know, make sure the first map is one of the base maps that came with the game. And so then we can change our server to ranked and hardcore and apply these settings and we'll just join back in. And then, so now when people are looking for an actual hardcore mixed map server in the server browser, our server will usually have 40 to 50 something people once it switches over. Um, and so those people will join the server and then that server usually will stay full. Um, we had, we've only had it die on us once and it was because we switched over a little too early. We only had about 30 something players in our server and we got a little bit, a little bit greedy and, and switched it over. But, um, you know, other than that, this has worked really well. This is what we do. Um, you know, it takes at most 25, 30 minutes to get your server started and then it stays full. Um, for the rest of the day. So hope this helped anybody out who was, you know, thinking about renting a server or has, or has rented a server and had issues filling it up. Um, you know, and anybody who's watching this video, you're welcome to join our server and play. Um, we're not overzealous admins. You know, we like just a fun game. So see you guys there.